Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche. And some of you guys might be going, Jay, you're recording an awful lot of Niche. What's going on? Normally you don't put this many episodes out in a day. Well, you guys are absolutely loving Niche and so am I. And as long as you guys are as enthused about it as I am, and as long as my voice continues to hold out and do okay, because for once it's actually been doing okay, uh, we're going to continue to uh, work with our creatures and uh, try and explore the the new islands and the new features because holy cow we found a lot of them and they're really cool so we're in this kind of archipelago place here and uh we have to figure out how to get from island to island we're gonna be doing some island hopping and thankfully i don't think the water is too deep like i think they'll be able to cross it without getting hurt um i hope but we do have to be kind of careful of raise ranas because they are spawning and that could be kind of bad. So we're going to go ahead and start a new day here. Uh, but yeah, we may continue to have multiple episodes of Niche for as long as you guys are still enjoying it as much as I am. <laughs> so let's, with that in mind, Kurnir, did you have any specific genes? B and A. If we look at our Baryina line, Kuma has B. I think it was the A immunity that we didn't necessarily have and do any of these guys. These guys have A, so we don't really need to breed Kurniuk here. So we'll put him on, um, we'll put him on this, uh, um, on the gold. And I think, do we need Lakola, I and B? Does she have, where's I and B? We could get them swimming tail, maybe. The swimming tail, if we look at these, do we have that unlocked? No, we don't even have it unlocked. Stinky tail. Oh, we need a water body. So we gotta be kind of careful. Let's see, swimming tail. We don't need that, or we can't get that right now. But we have I and B, D and A, I and C. We probably do want to breed her if we can. So we'll leave her up here, but she will continue to collect. Um, Takiro, G, and I. Let's look at our cracker jaw line. I, G. So yeah, we don't need Takiro. Uh, he can go on yellow. And we will move him down here. And if he's this way, he is in the water and he can actually do some fishing. So I'm going to leave these guys here, but we want to be a little careful as we put them in the water. They might take some damage. I don't know, you guys. Getting them across here is going to be risky, and we have to island hop quite a bit. So what we might end up having to do is uh, just breed frantically on every island and what we'll probably do is we'll leave behind a colony of breeding creatures over here uh not too many breeding creatures but just enough to maintain a population that can harvest this island's resources with that said are you able to catch nope uh, we want to try and catch the oh it moved away we want to try and catch the raised rana and uh, let's take a look at these guys we have von duke these guys are doing pretty well uh, getting good fertility. And then we have Mara. Uh, we're gonna move on Duke this way. Uh, if we start to get too many creatures, we might have to, uh, sort of do some testing with some of them and find out, um, how possible it's gonna be to cross. We're gonna have to have everyone wait until they're adults, that's for sure. Uh, Kuma needs to make sure, though, that he has a viable heir. And by viable air, I mean, um, like Von Duke here. Von Duke is on alpha. Von Duke is going to be a pretty good air, but I want to try and have perhaps some more airs if possible. Maybe we only need one royal air though. We'll try again a little bit, but beyond that, we might stop because, okay, we want to make sure we pass on all their genes. So D and B, he has E, B, D, C. Do these guys have... They have C, but we want to get is that E immunity, I believe. It's a lot to keep track of sometimes. So Kalana maybe will come over and gather some of this seaweed. The Ray's Ronas seem to be avoiding us. So that's a good thing. But if we get in the water, I suspect they will not continue to avoid us. So we've been getting some Baryina children, too, who have the Baryina snout. And uh, let's see, Cuckoo. 
It could be because of distasteful appearance, maybe? Does that give distasteful appearance if we come up here? Oops. Uh, do we have that? No, we don't. Okay. Um, I don't know then. So, Cuckoo, D and I. Cuckoo is male. What we really want is female Baryunas. We have one here, Isre. A and C. D and B. So, Isre and actually a nice would probably even be a better mate. A nice is going to be one of, we'll put her on alpha, and possibly Isre. Isre does have low fertility, though. A nice, however, has really good fertility and should be genetically compatible with Von Duke. And they'd have the chance of getting some of these antlers in the family, which is something we really want to see. So I'm actually going to come over here and put this um, Baryunup Claw in her mutation menu. And then I think she has the hind legs. We want the snout in. I'm going to go ahead and put the snout in because he has it double, right? He does have it double. Okay. And then we want to get these hind legs in at some point, but we haven't yet. So we might have to breed in with another Berlina if we can find one. Um, and then these guys, I and C, D and A, A and C, D and I, I see D A. Yeah, we actually have all of the genes we need from this group. And then, although D and I, D and I, yeah, we actually have what could be a breeding pair. So, oops, they need to be on orange. That's right, I forgot orange is so close. So these guys, is that right? Yeah, that was right, okay. They're gonna go on alpha as well. Oops, alpha and alpha. And I'm actually gonna stop breeding these guys. And we'll move Mare out this way. And then we're getting so many creatures, it's getting complicated. I'm gonna put these guys on um, yellow because we don't need to breed them anymore. Although, do these guys both have good immunity? They have pretty good immunity. We can work with that. So these guys are going to go on um, yellow now, and we'll move them over this way, and they can start moving this way. Alright, and then a, a Nasi... Could a Nasi... Well, no, this is I and B. D and... Oh, no, an I. Um, oh, we have Duke Nuku D and E. I and B. Duke Nuku will also end up being one of our poison fang creatures. And uh, I'm gonna put Lacola on orange. And we'll move Duke Nuku over here. And uh, let's get our digging creature closer to some of these places that need it. And then we'll move Rogue here this way. I'm gonna, on a Isla, we need to try and get a Cracker Jaw in the family if we can. And I'm actually going to destroy some of these nests. Let's have a Kuro move this way because I think we have some spots where we can start digging more this way. Uh, Takir is going to move this way as well. We're going to get a lot of them down by this beach. And then uh, Lana can start gathering up some of these, uh, these acorns that need cracking. So we're doing okay. I really want to establish a better food line soon though. Let's dig up this. Are there any other roots that we can gather? There's actually a root back here. Okay, that works. And let's start gathering from here. I like how it actually gets dark when it rains. It's kind of cool. And then Duke Nuku. Come over here. I'm actually going to breed these guys because, yeah, they're genetically compatible. And they both have pretty good uh, fertility. And then we actually had Rarera. Okay. D and B. D and B. E and B. We need E. So we gotta keep breeding these guys. Um, and then Rarera, actually, it's really good to have a female from the royal line because we haven't seen that for a little bit. So she's pretty good as well, genetically. Von Duke is actually gonna start moving this way because when he's old enough, he's gonna try and cross the sea. And these guys are actually going to go ahead. Okay, they can sit here without having any problems. What we want, we want to cross down here. Okay. 
And let's hope no Razoron has come along, because if they do, we're in trouble. Um, I don't really want him to have to get close to that Razorana. So as long as it stays away, I think it's pretty safe. So I'm actually going to move a nice out this way. A nice is one of our pink creatures. Oops, there. Because she's not of the royal line, but she'll probably be breeding into it. We kind of, we have a little bit of a royal line just going for fun, but really, mechanically, it's not super different. There we go. We can gather up these as well. There we go. We got that one. Rokir. Uh, can Rokir do anything super special? Not really. Um, let's make sure to we continue gathering because we are starting to lose food. So Takir also needs to come this way and get ready to cross. All of our creatures that are going to be coming to this island need to get ready to cross. Uh, it should be easier to get them across from these island through these three islands, but the really scary crossing is this one because it's really, really deep and they may take a lot of damage. So I'm a little scared to try and get him over this way. It's going to be a very uh, arduous trek. Who has a leech? Who's got a leech? One of you two. Is it you? You have a leech. I can't even see where it is. It's very hidden. So we got to keep an eye out to make sure that there aren't any leeches. So Mary can come over here and help gather some more food. Anasi gathered food. And then Reinako needs to start moving this way as well and come down here. All of the creatures that are going to be um, moving on eventually need to start moving towards uh, where they've got to go. So let's uh, let's look at, so Mimesi has Home Island and H. And uh, let's see, we got to mark these guys somehow too. Home Island and H. I and G. So these guys are going to end up um, probably breeding. They don't have the greatest um, fertility, and they actually do have webbed hind legs. But I don't really want to try and get the webbed hind legs in just for the sake of this. I would rather get the tail in, but I don't think that's going to be possible. And then we have a cuckoo, who we might want to breed, but I think it was it was a, a nice. And then Isray also who we want to breed. So we're going to get these guys moving this way as well. All the creatures that are going to move on to the next island need to get moving. So then we have New Duke, uh, who has Poison Fangs. What are our current Poison Fangs? So D and B. D and I. A and C. I and B. If we can breed Lacola, then we'll get that B in. So we don't necessarily have to have him do it now. And let's have these guys try and uh, get some food from these uh, places where you can dig it up. Let's go ahead and start a new day. These guys are not taking damage, but I believe here they will. But he made it, okay. He made it after taking a little damage, but I think he's gonna take even more. It's a little concerning. Yeah, that's concerning. They are going to take some damage, so we really need to get them across as soon as we can. I'm going to get him in the water and uh, have him um, and have him dig, because he's not underwater. He's being cooled down by water, that's good to know. I shouldn't have used his moves, though, because if a raised Rana comes, we want him to be able to move out of the way. Von Duke also needs to get ready. And Lakola. These guys. The coal is the one. Yes. Okay. Did she have a baby? Okay. Who has Vonro? I and E. That was. No. We were trying to get that E immunity, weren't we? No, we are trying to get her B immunity, though. Let's make a nest. We're gonna keep trying. Is there any, um. Oh, there are roots we can dig up. Okay. And we had two babies from the um, the main line here. So we have C and B. Was that what we were trying for? D and C. E and B. We were trying for E. 
he, new to cure, got it. Okay. New to cure, got it. I think we're going to stop breeding this line. And uh, let's make sure. Oh man, we're running low on food already. We might have to have somebody go fight a razor on or something. So Isray needs to come down here and wait. I'm going to have him come over here and help gather. Is there anyone else who can come and help gather? Not yet. Is there anyone we're not bringing? Rogue here, I don't think we're bringing. Um, I'm going to have them keep trying for that. These guys are avoiding the Raze Rana for some reason. I don't really know why. They may be... Do they have distasteful appearance because of the Derp Snout? Or something? They've got Scentless. I don't know. I don't think they do. It seems to be avoiding them. Oh no, I didn't mean to put him in the water like that. Dang it. Hopefully he'll be okay. Um... There are lots of fish if we could start using them as a resource. So Raysana, oh Raysana can come help gather from here. We need a little bit more. We lost one of our females. Did he get the genetic we were hoping for? A and G. I think he did. Let's have her. We'll shake, come over here, we'll shake the tree. We're okay. All right, we're okay for this turn. They're not really able to do that. And then Anais needs to come this way. Yeah, we really need to move on to better resources as soon as possible. So what we want to do is get everybody down there. And then um, Kuma is going to go on. He's, um, he's not going to stay the leader for very long. And then we do have our leader. Uh, where is he? Von Duke. So Von Duke is actually going to become the next Kuma, because in this tribe, Kuma has come to mean leader. Because Kuma was the Baryina, the original Baryina that we had come into the tribe. Kuduk won't survive the journey across the waters. So he's going to stay here. Mary won't either. We want to have probably a Cracker Jaw line remain behind. And in see we decided these guys need to come as well. I'm going to get everybody who needs to come on the beach. And then this little one, Kuro, I-N-G, no, A-N-G, we'll do Kuro, may come as well. And then Cuckoo is going to come as a warrior. Cuckoo may lead the way and make sure that uh, it's going to be a safe journey. And then Kirkirta, C and E. Was that what we were trying to get with these guys, D and E? We were trying to get B, weren't we? I don't know. Kirkirta may come as well as a warrior, because I don't think we need his genetics yet. Uh, let's... The trouble with this is if we leave some behind, we really can't come back for them. So Kuroduke can move. Nutaduke can move. Is there any more roots that we need? No. Okay, we'll go ahead. Start a new day. We, it really is a concern how many creatures, did we have someone, we had someone die in the water from the crossing. Did he make it out? He made it out, but he only has one turn left. So it is possible to make, but they will take a little damage. They have, two, they take two days of damage. Okay. So to cure. I don't want to cure, oh, that's a raise Rana. Um, I don't really want to cure to go yet. I'm a little bit afraid. I don't want him stuck in that water for any longer than he has to be. But a Isray is going to come and get ready. Oh man, you guys, this is a little scary. I don't like that Razor on it being right there. Okay, I don't think it's going to attack. I don't know when they do attack. Do we have a better fisher? Is Takir a better fisher? Oh, he got it! Okay, that's good. <laughs> that was that was freaking me out a little bit. So we're gonna get everybody else lined up and ready to go. Get them as close to where we're going as possible. And then, yeah, these guys really need to get a move on. Uh, Raysana, I don't think, has to breed anymore. So we're gonna put her... Um... 
We'll gather that up. We'll put her on yellow for warrior. The warriors are all gonna go on Omega because we can't afford to sustain. Let's get him out before he takes too much damage. We can't really afford to sustain that uh, that large of a population. And then Akuma is gonna remain behind. Are there any more roots they can dig up? There's a root over here. And Mera, is she coming? She may be coming, I'm not sure. Von, Ro, I, and E, was that what we needed? No, it was B again. Oh no. Um, ugh, these guys, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that immunity, honestly. Um, and Reducro, maybe. Uh, these guys are all gonna be on Warrior because we just, we can't, we have too many creatures. Uh, Rivera is also of the royal line and will be coming. And, um, we'll come over here. Ooh, we're not doing so well with the food. It's hard because we have multiple lines we're trying to preserve. Okay, Kirkirta. I'm gonna have Kirkirta start... Well, maybe not yet. I'm gonna have him start making his way across the river here. He's probably gonna take some damage. And then Cuckoo. Uh, D and I, was he, he's on it because it's, all those genes are already in the line, right? Yes, that's why he's on that. And, um, okay, he's not gonna make it across this turn. Uh, Kuduk isn't gonna make it across this turn either, but he can come and start gathering from over here. Uh, this, do we have two Kuduks? Oh, no. I grab Mary instead. Mary's... No, Mary's in the same boat. Okay. Duke Nuku will be coming eventually. But, uh... I don't know, you guys. We really can't afford to breed anyone else this turn. And, um... We really need... To do something... Without this food situation. Are either of these guys gonna come? Um... Why is he smaller? Is there like a size? Oh no, the body type. Body type, that's why. Um, Nudicure needs to be on alpha. And uh, he needs to come this way. And oh, we've got another berry bush we can gather from. Can't gather from that one. Can we still, no, he can just destroy it. We don't want him to do that. Oh, he can dig here, though. We're gonna do the best we can to find food for everyone, but it's not guaranteed. That's the scary part about this. So everybody who's not coming needs to go on Omega. Because... We can't have them, uh, taking up the food. She needs to be Omega. Mara... Is she coming? I don't know if she's coming or not, but we need to have everybody... Kuduk needs to go on Omega. Makola can stay. Duke Nuku can stay. Anasi, D and I. Oh, it's so hard to keep track of the different lines. We've got D and E, A and C. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we have I. I and B. That's why. Oh, Anasi has it. We don't need to keep breeding Lakola. Yeah, Anasi is actually a better um, a better match. So Anasi needs to go on orange. That was orange. This is orange. And uh, Alpha, and Lakola needs to go on uh, yellow, and be on Omega. And then he's on Omega. Kuro Duke should be on Omega. And Kuta will go on Omega because we don't need to breed him again. Oh man, these food issues are killing me. Lana can go on Omega because she's going to die this turn anyway. Uh, Kunukir can go on Omega. I think that should be enough creatures on Omega. I hope. And, um, oh, Cuckoo should be on Omega. Kirkirta. Should be on Omega. 
and uh, these rocks are right in the way. That's the trouble here. Um, I think that'll do it. So hopefully, oh boy. All right. We need him to move across immediately. He can't waste time in the water. Is he still? Oh, he. They're gonna. Well, they won't take as much damage as the. Well, they're gonna. They're gonna take more damage than the creatures coming this way. Okay, quickly get out of the water. Okay, I think he's okay now. They won't take that much damage. All right. Oh boy. I don't really want Ezray. Yeah, we're gonna send him this way. I don't really want Ezray getting stuck. I think he took some damage though from a. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna have to send him. I'm just gonna send a bunch of. Oh, he has a leech. Uh, let's have. I'm gonna move Rinako this way. Because we really don't have time. We kind of have to evacuate to get to one of those ports. He'll come down this way. Kuma's gonna come this way now that he's ready. Oops, he needs to be on blue. Now that he's ready to travel, he's gonna come this way. We'll have some of them try and work on getting food from that. My Macy's gonna be ready. Rivera's gonna be ready. And we have one food, literally one food. Uh, this is not a good sign. Uh, Kuma, I'm sorry, the previous Kuma has to go on Omega. We've got a leech, at least. Are there any fish swarms that we could gather. We can- Nudicure needs to get ready to move as well, but I'm gonna have him- uh, no, he can't actually, so we'll have him come this way. Um, this was not an island type I knew existed, or I would have prepared better for a possibly having to deal with it. Uh, I think we're gonna leave him here for now. And, uh, he's- Okay, are there any roots we can dig up? I don't see any roots. Oh, there is a root here. Um, can Kiwana? No. Can any of these guys breed? Because if we give them the Cracker Jaw, we can get Cracker Jaw in the mutations menu. Can these guys breed? I and G? I and G shouldn't. Um, A and G. I and G. I and G. AG, AG, I think we're gonna probably try and have these guys breed over here because we need Cracker Jaws. Um, let's make sure we gather off of this. Oh, we really don't have a lot of food, you guys. <laughs> um, this is not a good thing. Oh, we did get it, we got it. Okay, and uh, we can gather from here. Let's have some of these guys come and start trying to crack open these acorns. Because we're gonna need them to at least try. And then let's make sure all of our breeding creatures are on alpha. These guys are gonna take damage no matter what we do. And uh, the best thing we can do is try to have them avoid taking food damage as well. Yeah, it's inevitable that they're gonna take some damage. And then she's gonna end up dying next turn. Duke Nuku needs to get ready to move as well. And needs to be on alpha. And she needs to be on alpha. Everybody else is gonna have to take a little damage. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start a new day. We don't have a lot of food. Okay, let's quickly get them out. We need food. ASAP. There's literally no food over here. That is not helping anything. Do we smell any food? No, we don't. Um, come on. Up and up. So they can get across with fairly minimal damage. Okay. Yeah, they can get across with pretty minimal damage. So I think what we're gonna do... I'm gonna have some of these guys start making their way into the water. Anais can now follow them. And I'm gonna have her stop here. And then the rest of these guys need a few more days to grow up. So let's make sure we gather off this. And of course, it's a drought. 
Uh, we can't even gather from that. Can't even gather, can he? Nope. That is the trouble with having um, those Verina claws. And we've got to try, okay, there. And a he, here, let's shake the tree because yes, two will come down close by. We should be getting a little closer. And then we can gather off this bush. We've actually got a leech here and we have, oh, we were able to dig, good. All right, we can dig. There's some food that you can dig up. Okay, that's good. And then Von Roe can come and start destroying nests. We've got a lot of creatures that are going to be taking damage again this turn. Also, let's get these guys out. Oh, we found a berry bush again. All right, as long as we can get over here and start finding food quickly, we should be okay. Where are the leeches? Uh-oh, someone over here has a leech. Is it Rivera? No. Is it Nudicure? No. Nice. Macy. No. Who has the leech? We got it off, I think. Okay. And then... She doesn't have it anymore either. Yep, a lot of our creatures have died. Who else has a leech? This is new. Oh, we got it off again. Okay. I gotta clear some of these notifications. So I think we'll go ahead and do one more turn, and then we will wrap up the episode for today. So uh, let's quickly just try and get these guys across. I think once we have more food on this island, it'll help. I didn't know we could get, like, an archipelago place here. Um... We might just have to try and go to this flower island because I don't know if we're going to make it that far. Uh, let's have these guys continue to branch out. Oh, what is this? Coco, okay. Uh, we'll probably invite you to join the tribe. We'll dig that up. Maybe when we have more food. Maybe. And uh, let's make sure we're continuing to gather off here. Having rain is very, very good. Let's get these guys this way. Do we actually have anyone who still has digging paw? I don't know that we do. But these guys have got to keep making their way out. Okay, let's get up. There we go. How do you have two swimming? Oh, she has swimming tail. Oh! That helps a lot. Okay. Alright, Rivera is going to need to come next. And I'm going to actually put Nudicare here. I think he should be okay. And let's make sure that we get everybody gathering up food while we have a lot of rain. Because I think we may be able to handle this with the rain. Alright. There we go. And you can come and help gather. Yeah, we're going to be okay for this turn. Thank goodness. So I think... The fear of starvation has ended. I think we're going to be okay. I mean, it's not ended, but it's at least better. Uh, let's have these guys come this way. And come over here. Because we're going to start breeding with them soon. Alrighty, I think we're going to leave off here for the episode. Let's have a cuckoo come a little ways further in. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and we will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.